Hi toy fans and welcome back to Empire Toys 1138. Right guys, I'd like to apologise for not uh, releasing a car boot video. Uh, me and Vic went to two boot fairs and they were poor. Only bought a few things, so I just put a post up on Instagram. Thought it was for the best. We did go to Leicester Comic Con. So we went to two boot fairs, then on the, our way to Leicester Comic Con. So we got to Leicester and we had a little hunt around there. So um, check out what we found, check out the day, check out what Leicester Comic Con is all about and uh, we'll go through what we picked up after.
guys i hope you enjoyed that a little walk around of the show you probably saw some familiar faces there uh matt's from of course collectibles uh jim from jimmy's dropbox and nick from uh is it fin finstons i can never remember how to pronounce it something paradise finstons paradise anyway we'll come back to that in a minute so as you know, we uh, we went round, checked it out. It was interesting. So Leicester's in a kind of theatre slash gig venue. So all the uh, the all the gate, all the um, stalls are in like the ga the galley and everything, and the um, in the stalls and everything. So that's pretty cool. I kind of dig it. It gave it just that little bit of. Uh, quirkiness what added a bit of character to the event which was cool um there was also an upstairs bit that um had a lot more of the artists and everything up there and there was a small little gaming section which was pretty cool lots of uh good to see lots of kids playing like the retro games like there's a few of those little sort of mini nez and snezzes and stuff set up which was really cool so we'll go through what we picked up which wasn't a great deal because what i'm looking for toy wise wasn't there but that's for another story so something I don't usually pick up was from the artist area but I did pick up from this guy because I thought this guy was wicked so this guy is called Ryan Button illustrations that's his business card there so you can see some of the cool sort of what he's all about which is pretty cool so the first thing I noticed, and I picked this up for my bag, is because if you know me, other than toys, I do love a pin. So this awesome sort of skeletal transformer pin, which I thought was amazing. So that was pretty cool. I think that cost was about four quid it was. But um, yeah, if you see me walking around with my rucksack, there's loads of pins on the back of it and everything. So that's just another one to be added to it. I do love a pin. I bought two sticker packs off him, mainly because each sticker pack had one sticker in there that I definitely wanted. And uh, but I do love a sticker. So this is the first lot. This was sort of the transformer lot. So you got some Insecticons eating some Energon. Om nom nom nom. That's pretty cool. You have a take on the meme. So you got Starscream there. That's from the movie. Is this bad comedy? <laughs> and the one that I wanted the most, because I always like this Transformer. Is a shockwave one with science glitches on it, which I believe, and hopefully I'm right on this, is the pun on the Jesse from Breaking Bad, science bitches. So I really like that sticker, so that's definitely going somewhere. And then you've got this cool Megatron one with the Decepticon logo in the back. And then I saw another sticker that he had out that I had to get it because I'm a massive fan of it I love the Dark Crystal I really do and I'm so buzzing for Netflix to bring out their Dark Crystal uh, Age of Resistance Rise of Resistance whatever it is but I'm so stoked for it and got this and I saw that on these little stands and I just had to get it just for that one sticker but it still kill, comes with some cool ones. You've got uh, the ground in there. Demon guy. And another actually film that I love to bits. The Labyrinth. And you've got the Goblin King there. So some cool stickers. Stuff I don't usually get. But it is pretty cool. So check out Ryan Buttons on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And check out some cool stuff. He does do wicked prints as well. So. 
crack it on. Nick. Is it Filston's Paradise? I always struggle pronouncing it. I'm so sorry, man. So, I spoke to him. I've seen him at loads. And if you go to the NEC Toy Fair, you've been to your MCM Comic Con, your show masters. He's always there selling some wicked Super 7s. Um, so, it's cool, good stuff. I went and watched his talk. Now, what Nick's doing, with the help from Theo from Slimehouse TV, so again, check out him on Instagram, Slimehouse TV. Theo's a cool guy, well into his sort of kaiju, his Japanese sort of inspired stuff, and he just brings out some wicked artwork. So, check him out as well. But anyway, so, they are changing. To Nima Studios. And one of the things they are doing is that they are doing their own toy line, which was pretty cool because there is not many sort of. Every toy line's got a license. There's Transformers, there's Power Rangers, there's Star Wars. Everything redone is stuff that's been done before. Where Nick is created, has created, so I should say, a whole brand new toy line with an original character, all his own design. Well, it was designed by Theo, but it was on the premise of Nick's designs. And um, I was just hooked on it. So, The Incredible Ventures of Duck Boy. Now, if you were, I went and saw the presentation, and apparently, uh, Duck Boy is based on one of his cats, a cat that couldn't meow, made more of a quacking sound, hence, they used to call him Duck. So that's cool. So this comic and everything is all drawn and illustrated by Theo, which is awesome. And this is all their own work. So this is all indie production. And it's cool. It's, it comes heavily from the sort of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sort of um, influences. And it's a straight up kind of, it's just a cool story. Like, I'm, I'm, I love a cat. I really do love cats. And to have a cat superhero is pretty damn cool. So yeah. So if you've seen in the video, you saw he's also created figures. Uh, you can pre-order the figures. And they are a one of a kind figure. They are only the run they're going to be doing and they are decent, they're vinyls like a pop they're a vinyl figure but they will come in as you can see in sort of blister packs they'll be coming in sort of blister packs like that and they're huge because the idea behind it and he told it in the presentations the idea was he will be it's supposed to look like a toilet light when you were a kid so when you when you had those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you um, when you held a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure, it was huge. It was massive. Loads of cardboard. I know the environmentalists probably aren't too keen on it, but it was wicked. We loved it. And these are how these toys are coming up in. And I will try and use some of my very limited editing things to get that picture to come back up at the bottom here. But um, so yeah. So of course we went and um, sorry, just grab his name out. We went and sat into his presentation at the Comic Con. He talked about all the, how they're making the toys, and making the cast, how he thought about it, which was really cool. So from doing that, we got um, this nice little presentation thing. And again, everything's been thought of. It's a classified thing. He's going to run a fan club. We don't have fan clubs anymore. You can be part of the fan club. The Incredible Adventures of Duck Boy fan club. You get cards and everything. So there are the figures there. So you've got Duck Boy there. You've got this robot bounty hunter penguin. It's awesome. A ninja bird. Another cat based on one of his own cats, which is like some... She's a gangster. It's cool stuff, man. It's cool stuff. Bit of paper, 
During the recent investigations into the area, now classified as Site C, a DNA sample was collected from what was first observed to be a feather. Analysis and mapping of the sample was concluded that the feather belongs to the entity known only as the Swan. Now this is a spin-off that they will be doing, the Swan. Which is, uh, I think he said it was based on another one of his cats. He had a few cats. Cats are cool. So, spin-off one. I think it's going to be aimed at towards the girls. I love it. They're already thinking ahead of spin-offs and everything. And what to do. What's coming out of it. Events. There's a Halloween event coming up. There's a Christmas event coming up. It's awesome. Summer event coming up. So guys, check him out. I will put the link below. To go to the, uh, their Instagram account. To the Facebook accounts, I will add that. So it is cool. It's just you don't see that. We all talk about oh Stan Lee back in the day making stuff like the first them. Uh, you watch the toys that made us, and it talks about when they were making Kenner figures and everything. This is a brand new toy line being made right now. Nothing has been seen before. It's awesome, awesome, and it's British, made in Britain. So that was cool. I also picked this up, which I'm wearing now. It is the Duck Boy T-shirt, the Noir T-shirt. I love it. Nice little bit of design. It's a bit baggy on me. I went for the large to be safe. I played it safe. Probably could have got away with a medium. What I love about it, it comes in a video case. Which is the video case for the T-shirt to be in. So now you've got something. You buy a T-shirt, and then you can stick something up on the shelf as well. The old duck boy. Awesome. What I also did pick up from Nick. So I was looking for Lucy's and I'm looking for stuff to go with my Kenner Aliens because Kenner Alien didn't make many uh, movie looking aliens, which is what I want. You can get all the animal looking ones and all that sort of stuff, but the only one that really looks like the original alien is the Scorpion Alien. And then the normal alien that they actually did make, the original sort of xenomorph, came in a multi-pack of a predator. And it's quite expensive to buy on its own. So I bought one of these to trial it. These are from his Super 7 line. I think these were from Blind Bags, I believe. They're not as, obviously not that detailed. Well, they're from the reaction figures. But they're sort of that alien size to go along with the uh, Kenner figures. So that is what I was hoping for. I'm a massive fan of original aliens, the original alien design. I love it. And so that's why I kind of went with that. And to be honest, these were open ones. I think they came in damaged in boxes and he just opened them and sold them loose. So they were a little bit cheaper to buy. He's got a box full of them. And also because I just love them. And again, Something that I wasn't too interested in paying full mark up for, but these were already pre-opened ones. They're a little bit cheaper. Is the Muscle Men style alien figures. So you got the, the spacesuit there and the xenomorph there, which was pretty cool. So they're just, just some little shelf fillers there. So yeah, that was it. That was my call from uh, Leicester. So it was uh, a... Bit different. Not many toys, because normally I'm buying loads and loads of toys. I'm a toy buyer, but I'm a toy collector. But this sort of stuff, it sort of this jumped out of me today, and I, I was, I was hooked on this from the, uh, from the presentation, from talking to Nick a few times. Well, I, I spoke to him back, uh, back in February about it. Um, he went through it with me then. I know he's taking it to the toy fair, the, the toy show in uh, London, where he's. You stick it all out and there's all the new toys that people can buy. Apparently got really good reception, which is brilliant. Also, it's designed by Theo, drawn by Theo, Slimehouse TV. Theo's a great guy, met him loads of times at the NEC Toy Fair. Top bloke, he does some he's got some wicked videos out from Japan, so do check them out. Again, I'll put all the links below. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Next week, Toy Talk 2 comes out. Me and me, Dan and Andy have filmed it, you need to edit it out, so next week you should see Toy Talk 2 and we will announce the winner of the Toy Challenge. Yes, Andy, we will announce the winner. 
So guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We will be carrying on with as much toy hunting as possible. Fingers crossed the weather holds out for this weekend so we can get out to the car boots and actually find some cool stuff. Thank you very much for watching guys and until next time, see you later.